hello guys here we are in the second part of this course which is forex scalping technical analysis note in this part we will see only the import the important technical analysis indicators and patterns uh, just uh, because uh, in technical analysis we are we, are, we have a lot of uh, candlestick patterns uh, i think there there are four or uh, 43 uh, candlestick patterns and uh, uh, thousands of uh, technical indicators so we are going to study just what we need to apply this strategy that that i will teach you in uh, in other chapters so in first place we are going to see super support and resistance uh, second uh, chapter we are going to see candlestick patterns and price action and the third uh, part i mean the third chapter we are going to see technical indicators and moving averages and uh, the last part we are going to see how i personally analyze the market for scalping so let's start support and resistance what is support and resistance support and resistance level are horizontal price levels that typically connect price bar high to other price bar highs or lows to lows forming horizontal level uh, on a price chart a support or resistance level is formed when a market's price action reverse and change direction leaving behind a peak or a draw swing point in the market support and resistance levels can carve out trading ranges like we uh, like we see in the chart below and they also can be seen in trending markets and market retrace and leaves behind swing points price will often respect the support and resistance levels in other words they tend to contain price movement until of course price break through them in the chart below we see an example of support and resistance levels containing price within a trading range a trading range is simply an area where uh, an area of price contained between parallel support and resistance levels like we see below price oscillate between the support and resistance levels in a trading range note that in the chart below price eventually broke up and uh, and out of the trading range moving above the resistance level then when it came back down and tested the old resistance level it then held price and act acted as a support so this is the illustration of support and resistance the other primary way support and resistance levels are created in a market is for uh, is from swing point in a trend as a market trends it retraces back on the trend and this retracement leaves a swing point which an uptrend looks like a peak and a downtrend looks like a drop in an uptrend the old peaks will tend to act as a support after price break out uh, break up uh, past past them and then retrace back down to test them so this is the this is a chart so as we can see we have here uh, a support level this this horizontal red line uh this is a support and this is this is a resistance so uh, as you can see uh the, the market respect this uh, uh this support and resistance level it's uh it's often reacting when when uh, market touch these uh, areas as you can see here the market touch the uh, broke up the support and this support uh, support the supported the market up then retrace then goes up until reaching this uh, this resistance uh, the, the market react the sellers enter here and the market drop down until the previous support also the market react uh, goes up to the resistance until uh, it's ranging here 
it's ranging be between the support and the resistance until here the market breaks up the previous the previous resistance and this resistance after broken it will become a support this will su uh, this line will support the market to uh, to start trending up we are going to see the same chart here to explain you uh, candlestick patterns and price action patterns uh, with this uh, support and resistance for you guys to and to better understand the the concept of support and resistance uh, combining with uh, candlestick patterns uh, combining with the price action to understand very very well the market what the market is doing so in a downtrend the opposite is true the old draw will tend to act as a resistance after price breaks down throw them and then retrace back up to test them here is an example of a market testing previous swing point support in a downtrend note that as the market comes back to test the old support the level then behaves as new resistance and will will very often hold price it's wise to look for an entry point into uh, into a trend as it comes back and test this previous swing point see pin bar sell signal in chart below because it's uh, it's at these levels that the trend is most likely to resume creating a low risk high reward potential so for a uh, position entry we are going to develop that in an other chapter to see how to optimize the the entry so uh, in this example we are just going to see how we support and uh, resist how the market react to the support and resistance we have uh, here a downtrend we have here a uh, swing point become a uh, support then then broken br br broken down to become resistance we have here another support become a resistance and uh, like that this is the way the how the market is working